Okay, so we're gonna talk about how to figure out if you have a cassette or a freewheel on your back wheel, which is the gear cluster, and how to install them and how to, um, how to take them off. So, when you look at your wheel without any gears on it, the freewheel wheel basically just has a bunch of threads on it. And the actual freewheel is a whole gear cluster that has bearings and teeth inside of it with the threads on the back. So you want to make sure that you get the correct size freewheel, the amount of teeth on the bottom, which is the high gear, and the amount of teeth on the top, which is the low gear. Um, so you want to make sure that's the same as what you have now, or if you want to change it, you can ask a bicycle mechanic or a, or a professional um, how you can change that. So to install that, you want to make sure that you put grease on the threads. You can put it on the inside of the freewheel, or you can put it on the actual threads of the wheel. and then you're gonna thread it on, so making sure that it's really, really nice and straight, and that it's going on really easily. If it feels kinda of tough, it usually means that it's cross-threaded. So, once it's all the way on, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna either wanna put it on your bicycle and put the chain on and then push down on the pedals so it gets nice and tight, or you can use a chain whip, that's one of these things, and basically you just wrap it around the chain, I'm sorry, wrap it around the um, free wheel, righty tighty lefty loosey, and then you're gonna cinch down on the actual free wheel to make sure that it's really tight on the threads. Now to take off a free wheel, there's a bunch of different tools. Um, they all essentially do exactly the same thing, except they have different splines in them. So this is the Shimano one, it's the most common, um, and then there's ones that have two pins, four pins, some that have different types of ridges. There's all different kinds, so you may want to talk to a professional about which kind um, you have so you're not stripping it out. Then you either use a wrench or you can use a vise. A vise is a lot easier because you can get a lot more torque. And then you're just doing righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. And the free will comes right off.